What up guys? In this video, I'm going to be talking about Supreme t-shirt sizing. As you guys might have heard, Supreme drastically changed their t-shirt sizing. I've been in a weird medium kind of area where if I size down to a small, the body length fits right, but then the chest is really too small. But then again, when I get the mediums, the chest fits right, but the body length is too long. I've kind of just been dealing with it and working around that um, personally because I like the Supreme designs and I can't pass that up. I got three tees here, one from Summer Spring 15, one from Fall Winter 16, and one from this season, Fall Winter 17. The Summer Spring 15 shirt has basically been a beater shirt. I've worn it a million times and I've washed it countless numbers of times. The Fall Winter 16, I've worn a few times, but it hasn't been washed yet. And the Fall Winter 17 is brand new. So I'm gonna get into the fit, and so I don't throw a bunch of numbers at you. I'm gonna put all the measurements in the description box below. So before this season, a noticeable trend was happening with all the tees. They were all getting slimmer and longer. Now we enter Fall Winter 17, and the sizing has completely changed. So these new tees, are a whole size bigger. The main thing that I've noticed that's changed in these new tees is the chest and the sleeves. They've gotten bigger, but the body length has actually kind of stayed around the same place, which I personally like because if I get the medium, I get like an oversized fit, and now I can size down and the chest won't be too small. So what I noticed from these tees is that the quality has actually been decreasing, notably in the past couple seasons. I had got the Summer Spring 17 Nun tee in white, and the quality was terrible. The blacks were gray, you could see through the shirt. On the Fall Winter 16 shirt, the blacks were very rich, and the skin looked good, the colors looked great overall. The t-shirt quality on the Fall Winter 17, as soon as I like touched it, it feels like a Gildan tee, and if you hold it up to the light, you can like see through it. The print quality definitely doesn't match the $54 retail, much less if you pay resale for those. The Summer Spring 15 tee is the softest of the three, and it's the thickest. The Fall Winter 16 is still a little bit soft, and you can kind of see through it, but I wouldn't necessarily say that it's bad quality. The Fall Winter 17 is definitely all the way bad quality. You can feel it, and you can see it. So I found this shirt from Summer Spring 13 in my closet, so I thought I'd just show how this one fits. Someone gave me this shirt, so I'm not sure how many times it's been washed, but it's definitely been beat. Here's the Summer Spring 15 shirt. I'm not sure if you can tell, I probably should have wore a different color pair of pants. This is the shirt from Fall Winter 16. I've worn it a few times, it hasn't been washed yet. It's a little bit longer, which is a bummer because this is probably like one of my more favorite shirts that I own. The print quality on this one's really good too. And this one has like a lot of colors as like skin tone. Uh, you can see this like nice blue at the bottom. Definitely more wide and the sleeves are wider too. His beanie, if it's supposed to be black, it's definitely not black. It looks faded and kind of gray. And then like on his face, you could tell like it's kind of washed out and the colors aren't very true. I will say for this being the white background printed on black, that does look nice. As you can see on this undercover, that black in the corner here is like very, very dark. I'm not sure how true the colors are gonna come out, but the undercover one's definitely like higher quality. So again, I'm not opposed to this new fit. Uh, I like the bigger chest. The length actually stayed the same from the undercover one. As far as the big sleeves, I tend to like roll them up. I wouldn't mind if it was just like a little bit shorter, but overall, I kind of like this boxy fit more. Another thing that I noticed when I immediately when I put this shirt on is that the neck on this is tighter than the rest. And I'm not sure if that's anything that bothers anybody else, but I definitely do not like uh, like really like low scoop necks or wide necks. So that's definitely a plus for this shirt. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see this, but Supreme added like a, a watermark to the fall winter 17 tees. It's something to consider if you're like buying one of these on resale. 
I'm sure I've left some things out. There's a lot to talk about with when it comes to like sizing of t-shirts. But hopefully it's been somewhat helpful if you're like looking to get into Supreme or if you're trying to buy one of the new tees and don't know what to, what size to get. I'm probably gonna stick to medium unless I find myself in New York or LA to try one of the smalls. Like I said before, the measurements will be in the description box below. So you can kind of look at those numbers and compare and measure your shirts that you have at home already and make a better decision. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna keep making some more videos. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you plan to size up or size down or stay the same size.